What's going on guys? Welcome back to the GNS Truck and YouTube channel. I hope you guys are having a great day. Guys, things are like really popping off here. The, the YouTube channel with everybody's joining the team. Like the GNS crew is just growing by day, by day, by day. And there's, our, route, our outreach is just getting enormous. Um, some of the things that are happening to us is just, in my eyes, God just making it happen um that's there's no other way to explain it so today uh dad was up at john stories at the scrapyard getting parts so you know we're getting ready to do the peterbilt build um and by the way guys i was supposed to be at race week this week so i had a death in the family something crazy happened and uh, i lost my uncle uh my uncle tom and my uncle tom he wasn't a very very like man but he was you just either loved him or you hated him. He was always on it. Like he was just, he either liked you or he hated you. And he was seven foot two, 300 pounds. And the best trader I've ever seen in my life. And that's where I learned all this stuff. So all these vehicles, guys, laying around this yard, um, everything, it's all traded for. Most of the time, I trade around and that's how I acquire everything is by just bartering and trading and like the razor I traded for that uh, the jet ski I bought it cheap and to, to trade on which I'm getting ready to get that thing running because right now is the perfect time to sell that um, the Dodge did some trading on that um, some kind of deal was worked out on all of this stuff the little love bug um, we've got so much stuff around here that we've traded for so my uncle tom i used to ride around with him when i was a kid and when i grew up we didn't have a whole lot of money my dad worked hard my mom worked hard but we were not blessed with a lot of money we just survived that was it and that's why this where today's video this comes in so he loves street outlaws and my dad works his tail end off for me he is at that shop every day daylight to dark and he supports my youtube he helps me with everything he can help me with and my goal is to get my mom, my dad, everybody in my family, which currently just about everybody in my family works with me. I don't consider them working for me. I consider this all a team deal. So um, I don't have employees. If you work for GNS or RJE, it's all a family ran deal. We work together. I'm not your boss. Um, I am the one that guides everything. Everybody trusts me to be their leader and I lead. So. Um, that's the way it works, but my dad loves street outlaws. He loves racing. He's always been a racer, a street racer. That's where I've always got it from. And he got the opportunity today to work on Stinky Pinky's race rig. So he had some exhaust issues. He was coming through going to No Prep Kings. And it just worked out to where I was home. Um, dad was able to work on it. I, me and him and Devin and Waddy, my brother-in-law, we all tag teamed it and knocked it out and got it done and got him back on the road. So he got to meet him. He's got to meet, he had to go to Cletus's Drift Night. Like all these things are happening for him. And it just makes my day knowing that this YouTube channel is making all that happen. So that's why I'm working so hard. That's why we're trying to get these shirts out, the designs, all that stuff. We bought a t-shirt making business just so we could do this and do it the right way and it's going great so i want to thank you guys we just hit seventy thousand subscribers and i can't thank you guys enough i mean really i know i say it a lot but really it's to honest to god i really do appreciate it this daggone thing needs to be finished so we can go do some sled pulling and some racing i know it's heavy but it's fun and it's great for my wife to play with so um anyhow so stinky pinky come down today we got his tow rig on the road um, I'm going to show you guys the video of that, but first I'm going to go in here and show you guys these stickers that's getting ready to go up on the website. And when it goes live, um, you'll be able to order these stickers, um, the t-shirts, all that stuff's going to be on there. And you got to work with us the first, let's say the first three or four weeks, guys, because I'm sure it's going to get bombarded with people wanting shirts. I've been getting email after email. I know right now we've got over 200 shirts to send out. So um, as soon as the designs go up, as the shirts go up, um, we're going to get them sent out as quick as possible, but it's going to be a lot of work on us. So let me go show you the stickers though. 
my wife worked with somebody off Instagram and had these made. Um, you can get them in silver, you can get them in green, blue. I've got to talk to the guy that's making these for us. Um, he's got a vinyl cutter and he volunteered to make these just to show us what he can do. Let me actually go show you my wife's car. A little bit loud in there. I got kids and they like to watch their cartoons and stuff. So here it is on my wife's car. Um, I think it looks pretty good. She went with a silver on her car and you can get them bigger, smaller. I mean, this size here works pretty good. Um, I've got some bigger ones going to go on the back of the truck windows, like all of our tow trucks and um, probably the Razor's going to get some and the red Dodge and the white Dodge. And we're going to also put it on this side of her car too. So um, that's the plan. So them stickers will be going up, the t-shirts, all that stuff. And guys, when you buy this merch, we're going to continue. We're going to buy a bigger shirt press and hopefully we can start making other YouTuber shirts and because the experience I've went through trying to buy shirts and get designs made and all that stuff has been an absolute nightmare. And for other starting YouTube channels, I'd like to be there for them. Because like big companies like Bunker Branding, places like that, they're awesome to work with. But you've got to be like a bigger YouTube channel to make it worth their while. And I understand that. I mean, it's business. That's a big company. And they got to, you know, in order for them to make money and be worth their time it's got to be high volume so i guess we'll see what kind of volume we put out but we will be making those ourselves and and putting everything out ourselves doing our designs all that stuff and hopefully i mean everything else we do we take a lot of pride in and we make it work so we'll see how it works out but guys go enjoy today's video check out stinky pinky he come down he's really awesome and we've got some stuff planned for him in the future for the channel and Super cool, dude. Super, super cool. Um, go check him out. Oh, dang. Time to go through the church parking lot, Dad. <laughs> guys, this is Stinky Pinky's rig. Um, the street outlaw, no prep king guy. God, yeah, that's a nice rig. Y'all headed to No Prep Kings? Yeah. Yeah, in uh, West Palm. All right, guys. So, Dad's working away on this truck. Big 6NZ no, kitty cat. Hey, there you go. There you go. See what you started finding. So, we're used to this toter life. He's got a pull behind toter, like Stacy the Stacker. And, uh, Check that out. There's the actual cars and everything, so. Anyways, I'm gonna go up here and help Dad get this off and. If it ain't off the rack laying in the bottom after coming through <laughs> It looked like it was still up there. Did it? Yeah. I'm gonna tell you, I was gonna stop down there and see if you wanted me to drive it up here. No, nah, I, I, dude, I've been driving for a long time, and I was like, man, it's gonna be tight. And then that Ford Ranger came up, so I'm just gonna stop 
when he comes by, then I'm going to shoot over that About the, I was actually walking to the truck to get the phone to call yeah. Dad and say, hey, bring them in up uh, the other way. 68, and then I heard y'all pulling out. I was like, oh, I shit. mean, I've been in tired positions. Don't get me wrong. I, I figured I that bought, curve, I think, the I think curve at happened. the top of that hill, yeah. that's where I thought it would. Oh, that, I had no problem there. When we were going down the hill and curving to the right, there's a bunch of rocks oh, there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I stopped because a Ford Ranger was coming. So I said, one well, way for him to go past, and I'll jump over the oncoming lane. And no sooner I stopped and went over the oncoming lane, it just looked back, and the trailer just went like that right off the road. Oh, so right. I don't know if maybe the asphalt gave away there a yeah. little bit on the, on well, the shoulder. Well, it's just, yeah, that's a weak spot. So. so, guys, we got this flex pop out. It looks like it's had better days. Yeah, and that's rough to ride with. That is very tough to ride with. So we got to get them a flex pipe because this yeah. one is kind of. We got flex pipe. We got no, no. Pipe. I mean the uh, yeah, no, down pipe. Yeah. They only charged me 120 for that 20 inch oh, piece. Man, we had some out here. That's all right. It's better to have it, not need it, than need it, and not have it. Yeah, right. Very true. Same thing if you got a gun. Let's see. No. Oh, you know, I might even have that too. What's that? Hot. All right, I'm gonna go over here and find you a down pipe. All right. Oh, that's my power. Dad, you got this under control? You need anything? I got it. Right. I knew having that junk sitting around would come in handy for something. Huh. The truck's been sitting back here for a year. Might just save Peking Stinky's day. He might go win no prep jeans. Make sure it's gonna. It looks like that. Yeah, from south of Georgia, I think it's back up to Illinois. Start up north. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's definitely it. No. You want to hold that up there and let me measure that, Devin? You can hold it up there. Yeah. Still a little hot. Got measure tape. Sit down. Good deal. I know. Is there a filter in it? Yeah. He's a big maintenance guy. You think that's what's... Well, why, how come the secondary... You think it's just a gauge in there on the secondary? I'm thinking here. It's got an air tank right here, too, Dad. Uh, it's still around this side. Are you on it? <laughs> I don't think on, he's holding it. Be up there and hold this, and you'll be it's, down there it's, it's, that. it's your son. He's still wet behind the ears. Well, dry his ears off. I can't do that. His old lady's here. gonna have oh. to. Here, here it is. We got it right here. <laughs> what do you have? Come on, guys. <laughs> Dad's doing I'll all the work. Right. Oh, Dad, you gonna get this done today? Yeah, I'm fixing it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> tell him about the dryer. It needs, it's a filter. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah that's okay. easy. Easy, easy. Now, is there anything taking it apart that'll break it and we can't be going nowhere or something? Like, don't do it until you're done. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Which, I mean, I know y'all got a tight schedule this home. year. Okay. That's why I didn't want to do this down there. I got you. I got you. As long as you're in the heat, it ain't that big of a deal. Yeah. <laughs> but as soon as it gets cold, yeah, you're stuck. Yeah, it'll, it'll give you issues. All you gotta do is change the filter and make put you a new heater system in it. It's called a. We'll see what I'm talking about when you get under here. Okay. Got two little wires plugged in. Now, could that be the reason that the third one's not working? No. Is there when, another tank when did in the back the, or no? When Is did the third one stop back? working on this trip when it broke Yeah, down? well, we went up there, and it, we're going up top, and all of a sudden, I just saw the fucking air going down. The secondary pressure dropped. The second one got to, like, 75, 80. Bar's like, pull over, pull over. So we pull over. Of course, I let it idle cool the turbo. And you hear just air blaring out of it. So we shut it off. He climbed underneath of it. And found the one little line you see we put the jumper in the coupler right, right. fix that oh sweet Ooh, started up hot. started airing up and started going right back down the other one? looked at when we found the other one so we did another oh, coupler man. on the other one and it so three of them were popped right there right. so we didn't know if it was from heat from the exhaust coming out right. burning the plastic or if it was like over pressure and popping it so we finally started up we watched the back air up watched the trailer up but that secondary tank now says zero and the main tank goes up to 100, 120 and cycles and kicks off and on and everything. I'll look at it here in a minute. It's probably just that, that valve trip when it was losing air. Because it, what it'll do is like a, 
It's like safety a safety feature. feature. Yeah, it's like a safety. So will it cut that out of the tank off and not put air to it or something while it, it's off? It could just not be reading. and It's probably got air to it. It's just not running back to the gauge. To the gauge. Okay. Yeah. Because everything worked fine ever since then, so I'm cool with that. A lot of times, all your accessories works on your secondary tank. Yeah, and every all the chairs are moving. That's everything, saying, everything's in there. Anything working? Is your air riding, air everything's air. riding. Yeah, 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 everything's working so far. Yeah, I'm glad you had one of them pipes here. What was the chances you guys had one of them? I keep a lot of junk. <laughs> well, I, I, right today it's a treasure. Yeah, that's what everybody says. One like, man's Why trash you keep... is another man's treasure, man. Everybody's like, "Why do you keep all that junk around?" Well, for days like today, yeah, no kidding. You go down there and win no prep kings, I'm and trying, that dude. pipe could have saved you. I, I hope so. <laughs> oh, it's man, been one of them. Be awesome. I'd make it's, my day. I'd make my day too. Just one. I started off. I changed rear end gear before we left. And I said, I'm going to let the silicone shit dry up overnight. Back, right before we leave, I'm like, Dad, I'm going to go back here and put two quarts no, in it for back. the ride. Because if it's sitting there moving back and forth, I don't want no, no rear increase in it. Yeah. So I go back here, it's dark as fuck. I'm trying to put two quarts in it. I prop my phone up, motherfucker fall, bam, cracks the face just like that. Oh, so man. That's before we even left the driveway. Look, man, oh, it's ruined. So I'm like, this is going to be a great trip. Then we get down to see Bart, get him, and then that's when we get to Jellico. Beep, beep, beep. Warning lights going off, air coming out. Pull over! Pull over! Huh? On that hard pull going up Jellico and all that exhaust. Oh, right yeah, there. that's when she gets hot. Yeah. Yeah, that's when she That's why we're thinking all that heat that come pole. back here and melted them airlines. Did you see that special coating we put on it? <laughs> I like that. That's fucking hot. <laughs> that's called, that's called uh, who makes that? Reynolds Wrap uh, aluminum foil? That's the good stuff there. Right here, this is a regulator valve. I don't see. We know the regulator's regulating. We know the alternator's alternating, and we know the lifters are lifting. So we don't know if there's any air pressure. We don't know if there's any air. There ain't even a drain on this tank. It's in the front right here. Drain it. I can't he can't get to it. You gotta get to it. Gotta get oh, to okay. It. Let me get to it. I had to climb back under. To I was do gonna that. drain all the air out of the system and let it see if it pop back. Look at that pretty. Look at that. Pretty. Pretty high All right, guys, here we go. See if we did our job right. They blow up. I'll say that. Back out of the exhaust again instead of leaking out of the Still ain't showing nothing. Still ain't showing nothing. It's gotta be a valve. The hill will hurt as long as we got to earn. 
Yeah, as long as you got air. It, like you said, it may be your Dang, that monster's tight. What is it? Yeah, I'd change this, but it's probably this belt right here is what's making you know it. Cause it's got a little bit of, I don't know, you can put debris right in there? Yeah. And it might be, I had one the other day, I couldn't figure out where the squeak was. Yeah. When they come back from California, there was no belt on the fan or nothing, and the pulley was no <laughs> bearings in it. That, that was a pulley of a belt. Uh, I'm glad I seen you up there. Dude. It's just a blessing from God, man, because we were on the side of the road thinking, oh, man, we're here, we're fixing it, we're not fixing it, we're taking off, we're stopping, and then he, we get to the top of Jellico, he's like, just go to the truck stop, and I'm like, we got air, it's going, that that why it's not, so I just keep driving, and then we just keep, he's like, dude, I smell it's bad over here, it's all so bad, I'm like, well, what are you going to do, we're going to get that muddy buddy shit, what's it called, the muffler buddy, <laughs> that one, oh, yeah. that he said, let's get that route, put on get that tape, it gets hot and dries up, <laughs> Then, then I, sure enough, we saw a Freightliner sign. I said, let's just get off here with a handbag. And I don't know, just luck for God, dude. You guys were in there. I see him come in, I go, the time he was impeccable. I go like this, I go. And that's the music, dude. I look three or four times, I go, damn, that looks like stinky Man, I can't thank you guys. I look at one, I said, he goes, stinky pinky. He goes, stinky pinky. I said, that's sticky. He come walking up, I seen his hat, and I said, that's sticky, bitch. <laughs> hey, thank you guys so much, man. I can't do it without you guys, man. We'd be stuck. Let right, Mark? We'd be stuck <laughs> like Chuck, yeah, man. We'd be down there as possible, you know what I mean? Hey, he's, just, I know he's, he's, he's good people. Show. I'm about to have a comedy, you know what I mean? I live my life and have a good time and treat people the same way, you know what I mean? That's right now I am. You know, fortunate enough to be here. You know, there's only a handful of people in the world to get paid to race. I like, I like what you, you go up yonder, you got this big attitude up there, you get up there with that big pink. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing worse getting beat by the pink car, is there? Said, oh, that freaking thing fly. <laughs> <laughs> I said, there ain't no way. When you was racing JJ and him, yeah. I said, hey, JJ, you ain't got a bit. You ain't got a bit. Then you blew the tires off. Uh, no, at, at, against Trish, I, uh, I uploaded a corrupt grid file. It only had seven degrees of timing. The motor just went between five and seven degrees the whole road. I just didn't have no power now. Then I went out there and I knocked them off in the middle of the road. I, right yeah. so, well, I am so glad to see money you guys. Your clothes. I, was, I was going you like this down, down the road and I said, we get to work on Stinky Pink. <laughs> 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 hey, 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 we're in the Turgon. We found somebody to fix this pipe. Yeah. This is perfect. He's going down the road, isn't he, Jenny? This is perfect. All right, so what are we going to do? All right, I'll block Just go back out this way or what? What do you think? And a straight back. See you, buddy. Go back through. Yep. All right, guys, there they go. Happy customers.